here we are at Checks and Trigs, headed for our charcuterie workshop. Howdy! Very good. Very good. Got it, we get started. So we got seven. Let them chat with you guys and get them in check. Awesome, thank you. So this is traditional champagne style sparkling, okay. Pinot Grigio, which is, yeah. has a little bit sweetness to it because we had a really hot summer in 2019. And it was. So it's got some nice body yeah, to yeah. it. And a red meritage, which is a traditional mm -hmm. Bordeaux style blend. So yeah. what I would say, start at the top and right. way through. I'm just going to kind of walk you through how to build your boards. Now, most of the time people pop in and they're like, hey, they're a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, but by the time they walk out, I'm telling you, like groups of people are walking through their winery and they're like walking taller with the board in their hand and they're super excited that they look like they built a house. So the board does look a lot different from what you see here to when you finish. It's actually kind of awesome. And it's kind of fun because you get to use this tool, which is called the draw knife. Um, now this is not a tool that carves your board in any way, it's just a debarking tool, so it just kind of takes off some of your bark, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go really, you want to hold it like this, so the silver part of the blade is facing you, that's the wrong way, so you want to hold it like this. Again, we'll be wandering around helping you through this if you forget the steps, and we just want to go a little bit of bark at a time, and we just want to take that kind of bark that's chipping off, as you can see, it's already kind of chipping off a little bit like this. Right, so how we clean these boards. You guys look like a smart group. They don't go in a dishwasher, I'm sure you gathered. Mm -hmm. uh, we just hold them over the garbage can and we scrape the food off and we just use a little soap detergent and water and that's it. You don't need to use anything else. You don't need to spray any chemicals on it and you're good to go. It comes off pretty quickly. If you leave a strawberry on there overnight, you know, there could be a late night and you're just like, forget it. Um, it could stain your board and that's okay. You guys actually know how to fix that. Just take a little sandpaper and just scrub it a little bit and put a little bit of mineral oil on it and it's fine. You can buy mineral oil from Home Depot and that sort of thing. They might not be food grade, so we want to make sure we're using food grade mineral oil on these boards. Unfortunately, maybe fortunate for me, the only place in the entire world that sells food grade mineral oil is from me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is my little sales pitch. So, my <laughs> So we want to make sure we're just pouring a little bit on a time like this. I won't do your whole board because this is the fun part where you see your board come to life, right? You see the grain come on or come to life right here. Easy to put on, super, like you don't have to go in one direction, you just rub it on. It dries really quickly. It's not sticky or tacky, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Just kind of rub it off. So you pour it on the entire board and then you dry it pretty much clean. It dries within a couple minutes right to the touch, it's a little bit oily. So this isn't something that you pour on more and your board gets darker. That's not how mineral oil works. You just wanna make sure you're covering your board and wiping it all off. Super easy, but like, look at the difference, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby. My baby's getting all oiled up. Nice and conditioned. Beautiful. Crazy how different it looks from where you start oh to where you finish. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. 